Pearl and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make 3D Christmas tree cupcakes. These are sure to impress the pants off your guests at your Christmas get together. So all month long in the month of November, a group of us moms have gotten together to bring you a collection of Christmas themed foods, desserts, and drinks. And so hopefully you'll get some ideas for your Christmas get together and parties this Christmas. So I'll link the playlist down below. You can check it out, you can save it, and then you'll have it. And you can look at all the videos from the ladies from the beginning of the month and then the ones that are coming up in the next few days. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you how to make these 3D Christmas cupcakes that will take your party up a notch. To start off, you're going to need some cupcakes. I'm going to show you two ways to make this easy Christmas tree design. Next, you'll need some white thin consistency Wilton buttercream icing. Next, you're going to need some green medium consistency Wilton buttercream icing for the Christmas trees. And I am using the Wilton leaf green. The last color of icing you're going to need is yellow for the star on the Christmas tree. And I am using Wilton Lemon Yellow. The tools you'll need are a small cake decorating spatula, two piping bags with the couplers, and you're also going to need one more icing bag with no coupler. The Wilton 2D tip and the Wilton 21 tip. And lastly, and these are optional, some edible shimmer in white or champagne color and some edible candy pearls, silver candy pearls, or you may use colorful ones. Let's get started. Using your white icing, you're going to cover your cupcake and you're just going to spread it all around. And again, you can use a spreading knife, a butter knife, if you do not have an offset spatula. So spread it all around and being sure to go all the way to the cupcake edges if you have a dark cupcake. So I'm using chocolate because my kids love chocolate. But if you're using a white cupcake, you really don't have to go all the way to the edges as long as it gives the effect of snow. To smooth it out, angle your spatula and turn your cupcake as you do this. Okay, then you're going to take your icing bag, snip off the tip, being sure not to snip off too much at first. Test out your icing tip by dropping it in and you can see that mine, the bag was covering a little bit of the tip. So I went ahead and cut it a little bit more and tested it out again. And you may have to play around with this and do it a couple of times before you get it just right. And so there we go. And now you can see my icing tip fits perfectly. So once you have your tip in your bag, fold the icing bag over so that it's shorter and then place it over a glass. This is the way I like to do it. I find it much easier. And then fill your icing bag um, as much as you can. And depending on how many cupcakes you're doing, you can fill it all the way to the top. And then unroll the fold that you made. Then you're gonna squeeze your icing down um, so that it's at the tip, the very bottom, okay? Then make a twist in your bag, and then to test it out by pressing it out. Um, that also gets rid of the air bubbles. Now come in at a right angle onto your cupcake, starting in the middle and working your way out, and then swirling it, working your way back in, making each swirl a little less each time. 
And so this is your view from the side. To make your star, you can use Wilton tip number 22, or you can use 21. I'm using 22 here. And come in at a right angle, and of course use your yellow icing. And you're going to want to press in just slightly, not too much because you don't want to collapse your Christmas tree, but slightly press down and, and press your icing uh, so that it can splay out and make a star. And there you go. That is what it looks like. For the next cupcake, we're going to do something similar. We're going to cover it in white icing. You can make it smooth, but if you make it a little rough, it can look like snow as well. And this time you're going to need a coupler and you're going to need Wilton tip number 21. So you're going to drop your coupler in there, attach your Wilton tip number 21, and then fill your icing up. From here, we're going to use the same technique as we did for the other icing. So start in the middle, work your way out to make a base. Don't worry if it's not perfect because the swirls going above it will fix that. You can just swirl bringing your hand, um, making the circles a little smaller each time. And there you have it. For the star, we're going to want to use a smaller tip to make a smaller star, just because of the design of this tree. So I'm using the Wilton tip number 16. Coming down again, just with slight pressure, um, squeeze your bag so that it splays out a little bit, making a star. And there you have it, a perfect tree. So you can leave your cupcakes as is, and they look perfectly fine. But if you want to take it up a notch and really impress your guests, you can embellish it. Here I'm using some champagne colored perlite shimmer, and I'm just putting it in my hand and I'm going to sprinkle this all around. This is a very fine shimmer and this will give the effect of snow. And so what's a Christmas tree without the Christmas ornaments? I have silver candy balls and you can use pearlized, white pearlized uh, candy balls or the rainbow color whatever look you're going for. I wanted a slightly more elegant look, so I went with the silver pearls, and I think they look fabulous. Um, you can stick these pearls anywhere that you want, whatever looks good to your eye. Um, that's what I've done here. And this is how it turned out. Okay guys, so there you have it. Two different Christmas tree cupcake ideas both equally impressive. Let me know down in the comment box below which one was your favorite. So there you have it. Treat your guests this Christmas with these 3D Christmas cupcakes and you'll sure be the talk of the town in a good way. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I have a lot of home and mom lifestyle related videos, a lot of recipes, DIYs, cleaning, decluttering, and I hope you'll join me on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.